and uh, you don't really want to play those heroes in a Crystal Maiden anyway. So Secret's Great kind of hedging their team. bets. And another strong combo we've talked about is uh, Crystal Maiden plus the Clockwork in itself. Team just really Secret's opens up that position four roll for the hero. Uh, VP will take the very powerful and popular man himself in their uh, their own pick. And then that Warlock as well, of course. The other big position five. I feel like Warlock and CM are just like a tier above all yeah. the other supports right now. At least for the five roll. It does feel like it. And of course, Secret do have the opportunity to go for maybe Five, that seven, kind of cheesy eight. draft that they had the other day with Drow and Storm Spirit, depending on mm. how much lockdown or catch VP has. Reserve with the Clockwork and Warlock, you know, it can be a bit nasty walking into that, but we'll see what they go for. You know, Yapsor's Earthshaker is another another big option that they can head towards. And it'll be the Sand King, still a very okay. open-ended hero. You know, Radiant Clockwork King Sand King, back. they can both be offlane or in that kind of roaming four roll or the farming four roll if the Sand King goes into the jungle. Uh, more team fight power though. Lots and lots of team fight power from both of these teams. Definitely feels like that was the goal here. Um, yeah, leaving something a little bit open-ended. Don't want to give anything away. So both teams a flexible offlaner or position four. Uh, as well, they uh, locked in position five here. So Io is still in the pool. Uh, that could be something for secret I could see. Like Akezu Sand King setting up for relocates could be pretty strong. And uh, we will lose that uh, Storm Spirit that we discussed and the ever-discussed Shadow Fiend and Templar Assassin. Not going to be our mid-heroes. We still have Lena in the pool, though. Secret, they have the second pick coming out of here. I'm not sure if I'd want to leave the Lena. Mm. Uh, SF with the Cogs Abuse, of course. Just get rid of yep. that. Lena, you're saying? I mean, there's... Uh, DP has seen a bit of light as well in the recent couple of Reserve weeks. And that mid lane has been very good. I'm a little bit surprised the VP didn't ban the Ember Spirit, though. Team Secret have, ah, uh, yes. have been using the Ember to you know, great success. With the Crystal Maiden, you've got extra mana. You can roam in. You'll have the double roots as well. So kind of, you know, kind of deters people from picking those mobile carries, like Anti-Mage or, or whatever they're aimed towards. And it's honestly mid one's best hero, the Ember Spirit. Yeah. It was first banned by Navi in their series, and then by Liquid in their series. Um, and then it was left in, but ignored by Team Secret. Uh, when they played against Pro Dota, but then yesterday Empire were also banning it first phase, and of course they did 2 0 secrets, so I'm not going to disagree with you. And no, they'll take care of the Tinker, so Clockwork being a good counter to the Tinker means it's Ten a little bit higher for Secret to pick it up for themselves, and uh, then that's one less option for them with the, the uh, Storm Spirit ban, too. Yeah. They're just like, yeah, you know what? That could have been a kind of scary Tinker game. Yeah, and you don't really want to pick Nyx when you have a Sand King already. It yeah. gets a little bit awkward. Uh, also might indicate a TB pick from Team Secret, that Aghanim's Laser Blind, very good against the Terra Blade. Also very good against the majority of mid laners with that laser. Uh, but Lena's still out there, like you mentioned earlier on. If they want to pick Ember Spirit, Lena is still a very, very annoying hero. Nyx Assassin could also be a pickup for VP if they run the Clockwork in the 4 roll. I'm not sure I've seen Lil do that too often. I, I believe this is going to be a Pasha Clock, but... Yeah, the, the I agree. The option is there, but... Solo Warlock is almost almost definitely going to be where that hero is heading to. Invoker. No one Invoker. Been a while since we've seen that. It's been so much TA and SF. All of these physical right-click carries and damage dealers. Ursa Warrior was a big one as well. It has kind of been ignored this game. Maybe it is a little clockwork too then. Because not revealing, like still keeping that option, it definitely means that they're open to it, I would think. Or you would think they would just go for their offlaner here. Uh... Instead of forcing in this invoker, but at the same time, maybe this will help uh, facilitate the offlane clockwork with the hook shot immediate into the sun strike, and we just get a, another four hero that can roam around early on with this clock. Maybe that uh, visage that we were contemplating earlier. You never know. But there he is, the expected one, the Imba man. Yeah, very good for mid one. He doesn't have, you know, the kind of steroids behind him. Doesn't have the Magnus and power or bloodlust or anything like that. But with Crystal Maiden aura. Should have a decent time in lane against the Invoker. It's, it's kind of an interesting lane matchup as well, that 1v1. You know, early on, the right clicks with a poor man's shield and a Quelling Blade. Ember Spirit does do well last it creeps and all of that. Invoker can struggle a little bit. We'll likely go for the Alacrity and then switch into Forge Spirits. But Ember Spirit at 6 can definitely look for these kills on Invoker in the mid lane, especially with a rotation in from someone like a Sand King or a Crystal Maiden. So VP, Fisher should be able to cancel this out. And this is, this is, Earthshaker is a hero that we used to see a lot up against teams like MVP Phoenix. Back when they used to run these or kind NP. of... Or, or, or NP. Or NP, like... Well, I guess, what were they then? 
Um, like, were they still Cloud9? Not those crazy in. games? I guess they know it would have been Team Secret Envy. That's what it was. Team when Secret he was, Envy, uh, yeah. like, because they were always picking this Ember Spirit and people were picking Shaker against them a lot. Yeah, because you've got the long range initiation from Fog to catch the Ember Spirit, but also. Earthshaker was picked a lot more of a sort of counter strat thing. With Sand King and Maiden, you've got this kind of heavy roaming potential where you can smoke up together, you've got a root and you've got a stun from range to catch people out. But if they move towards mid lane, you can just fisher them off, catch them, you can block runes. With one hero, you can almost, you know, indefinitely ca like counter and cancel out the movements of two heroes. You know, you get that efficiency play there. The Secret come out with the anti mage for MP, Ember and AM. How interesting. Well, the long game. <laughs> Certainly feeling comfortable heading into some of the later stages. I mean, eh, there's some things to worry about. Shaker getting items, Invoker getting levels. But uh, Anti-Mage there to say remain. no to Invoker for the majority of the game. It is indeed quite interesting Five to reveal that out early. Remaining. And uh, one pick left here. Decide exactly what our Sand King is going to do. I like the band. The Kezu... Uh, Enigma, obviously very strong. They could go to bat to try and capitalize on the split push. They wanted to. Be a decent catch out option here. Also buys four staff. And banning also has out the new TB. stacks. Realizing they've banned the Tinker and TB is an option for VP. Yeah. Get that hero out of my Ten game. I said the thing that that anti mage means is that you know VP can't Five go for something like a morphling remaining. really. Very annoying playing up against it. Int. Dark. Heroes are completely out of it. There's the Kezu Darks here, so it will be the Yabzor Sand King. What is your one roll for VP? Like, Wraith King is almost impossible to play in this game. Life Stealer is okay, but I don't know if it scales or hits the timings with the rest of your team as you'd want to. Ten seconds remaining. Maybe you look for something like a Lycan. Double Forge yeah, Spirits, Lycan, uh, push towers, remaining. take objectives. I'm not sure how everyone's feeling about him, I suppose. Time. I guess they're just trying to figure out exactly what the game plan is, right? Like, Terribly would have let you end pretty quickly, try and beat out this anti-mage and stuff. Uh, even with the nerfs, he, yeah, his illusions are worse, but in terms of, like, knocking down objectives. Troll Warlord's still in. He's pretty good with the clockwork. Uh, he 1v1s decently, even if you end up going a little bit later and gives you the option to just win the game. VP might be thinking to themselves that they've been caught in a situation, you know, back against Sven the wall. Need some kind of lockdown against the AM and Amber Spirit. And yeah, Sven is one of the very few safe lane carries that actually carries any kind of guaranteed or consistent disable through that storm hammer. <laughs> yeah, the last time we said that, we wound up with a, uh, a safe lane slaughter. And that was not a win. Exactly. That was against Empire. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's exactly the, the kind of thing that triggered in my brain. It was, hang on a second, they've got nothing to really catch Ember or AM. What, what can they do? They can tornado, they can hook shot, they can cold snap. They've got a few little things here and there, but nothing really to just, you know, actually stop them from being able to remnant or blink away. But it does take time for Secret to get up and running. You know, it takes a good 20, 25 minutes for Ember and Antimage to find their groove, get themselves up and up and into fighting shape. You know, they're not really heroes until they get those big old Ten items that they need. Remaining. Which is why I am wondering, Trent, what kind mm -hmm. of item build we'll see Five from this AM? Remaining. Will it be the Battle Fury? Will they stack camps for him? Will they go for, like... Will it be the Midas? <laughs> will it be the Hand of Midas we saw from Burning? Will we see the Vanguard Vlads? Will we see Phase Boots? Because I know a lot of players have... Well, not have been recently, but I know they were in the past, you know, trying out Echo Saber AM, Maelstrom AM with Phase Boots because of his base attack time. There's there's lots of little nifty things you can do with Anti-Mage that's not just the Treads and Battle Fury and Manta style, you know, the boring old, boring old build up that we've seen for the past six years. There's innovation. It's innovation happening, Trent. Would you believe it? Well, little control elements are pretty helpful in a game like this when you have the Iron Shell on top of you too, if you want to do any sort of early battling. But uh, of course, Iron Shell also help you with your early farming. So could just stick with the Battle Fury. Definitely what we'll be uh, counting on, but you never know. And then, uh, well, I'm curious if it will indeed be the Pasha Earthshaker here. I think that makes more sense. You need to give that uh, space to the Shaker. Obviously, his items are going to be much more impactful than the items on a Clockwork. So, uh, yeah, it looks like he will just be sticking on the hero and uh, trying to get him the best possible case towards an early game. Blink Dagger, Clockwork, he can find that a little easier this game uh, using the, uh, well, instead of Crash and Burn, it'll be the Hook and Burn. Get level six, Hook Shot into Sun Strike. <laughs> Uh, are you great. quite done, VP? I don't think so. Nice ward here. I wonder what they are crashing and burning. Are they crashing and burning their draft? Are they <laughs> crashing and burning this this series? 
wonder what they're up to, but yeah, you're right. Solo, he loves this play. Ward in behind the tier one. Look for the career snipe when it comes across to give mid one his salve. And give a nice little boost of gold to his team as well as denying away from the mid lane. Secret setting up to take their top rune with MP. Aiming for that poor man's shield. He absorbed boots first. Any unusual starting items? I don't think there are anything out of the ordinary here. Boots first on Lil to get himself into position a little bit better as well. Ramsey's with a mango, of course. <laughs> Everything looks pretty normal. Everything looks pretty standard. Now, Pasha on this offlane Earthshaker, something that we don't see a lot of anymore. Is uh, he going to try and block and pull? Are and you watching the, the cogs right now? <laughs> What's he doing? Lil's doing it. Remember yesterday he was doing this too, where he's just like running around with his boots first and trying to annoy people. He was like throwing cogs over there. They just farmed the cogs. <laughs> Each got a last hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Good oh, stuff. Geez. Good stuff. Solo is still hiding away in these trees, repositioning himself to make sure he doesn't get found. Sneaking around. Courier is coming he out is as well. Successful. I am not going to miss it this time, Trent. I am going to make damn sure that I see it. That, that was CM pinging. Oh, does Poppy This might know? be the biggest I told you. Oh. He knows. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, Poppy. You clever little bastard, Poppy. You have done it. You have done it. Courier goes all the way around the long way solo. He's going to make the wander across. Uh, they know he's there, so they can just micro the Courier out. And Solo's going to take a couple of tower hits here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Doesn't feel good to be a Warlock at this point. Down to half of his HP. Probably forced to use his Shadow Word as well. Let's have a look at these lanes, though. Kezu applying pressure to Ramsey's on the bottom lane with Lil here trying to zone him out. Not the easiest of tasks as a melee hero against the Darkseer's Iron Shell, but he's got the cogs to do so. Mid lane, no one against mid one. One of the better mid lane matchups we'll see this year, I think. These two players, very skilled. Kezu might be in trouble. Oh, Lil. Not going to get there in time. Just backs off. And then top lane, of course. Anti-Mage for MP. Goes in onto Pasha. Burns all of the Earthshaker's mana, and Puppy with the Frostbite helped out a fair chunk as well there, while Yapsor is actually just jungling. He buys boots first, he stacks the camp, and he jungles. So, relatively weak offlaner in the Earthshaker, and now with this change too. Like, Crystal Maiden, she, uh, she's not the most well-known best, like, dual laner and stuff, obviously. She likes to be a little bit greedy, but instead it's the Sand King doing that this game. Puppy just has to be a bit patient, but with the... Uh, wow. You really, that can't happen. How does Pasha get that deny? Like, honestly. But anyway, uh, AM, one of these heroes that is going to be buffed by this change, right? Someone who loves to control the wave, just farm the whole time, and uh, deny and give himself some bonus experience now. Mm. I actually can't believe Pasha's got that deny, though. That's so funny. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go back in on him a little bit there. I'm not going to get any mana burn mid lane. Hello, mid one. You have gone in pretty deep. Gets the Searing Chains down onto Lil and does retreat himself back. He but has no boots, though. This gives no one a bit of space. What's the movement speed difference here? <laughs> Body blocks from Yapsor. Cool. Invis Sand King. Fair enough. Is it 310 against the 360? There's, yeah, there's a 50 movement speed difference there between Clock and Ember. Yapsor even goes and gets the Bounty Rune with that Invis Rune he's got. That was quite the play. Like, that was the dead Ember. Almost certainly, I would think. If the apps are hidden, come in. Mm. There was no mana on no one for a Sunstrike or anything. I think it would have been close. Yeah. What death. is close, though? Well, Pasha is close to death. Looks like that'll be your first blood as he's dropped up on this top lane. The apps all gets the kill as well. Nearly has his arcane boots. Such a good movement from the apps or Farms jungle gets level 2. Now hits level 3 at 3 minutes. Perfect efficiency from him. And then you're just uh, a shaker. Kind of sad. Not the fastest jungler. Can't really abuse stacks too much. This is, is this where we go back to the uh, the Merlini play? You stack camp five times and echo slam it. <laughs> is, that, is, that the Merlini is that the yeah. Merlini play? I'm pretty sure he did that during a stream once and it was nice. like the funniest shit ever. Just echo slam those creeps? Yeah. I mean, what else are you going to do with a you know early game echo slam? It doesn't do anything. I'd be scared of Darkseer coming to steal it with Iron Shell, but <laughs> that's just me. I'm scared of everything. Oh. Lil. Again, zoning mid one back and catches him with the chains. Tries to farm the cogs. Gets one and succeeds. So scary, though, laning up against this invoker and having a clockwork roaming into your lane. Gonna bring the bottle out to himself as well as a bunch of other juicy little items. Brown boots for him. 
career is actually pretty stacked, to be honest. Yep, so full Tranquil Boot. Oh, wow, yeah, he's yes. farmed. Tranquil Boot Smoke. Moving in towards mid lane, maybe looking for a kill onto someone. They've got the burst damage and burn out from the level 3 Flame Guard and Searing Chains. They can catch this Invoker. He is going to die. Lil's haste up here is going to find Kezu, though. It's a pretty nice grab. Oh, nice cogs. Kezu, can he break the cogs? He can get out of one, but he's pushed back battery. by another. Soul Ring. I mean, uh, Mango is there, but he's got mana for the surge regardless. Sunstrike won't land, and they turn to fight against Lil. He's very quick, though, and Yapzor surged up. No mana, gets pushed back by the cogs, and Lil will escape. All right. Good rotation from Yapsor, but also just nice pressure. Survives on Lil. That's what you're you know, supposed to be doing as his position for a hero. Slider, Spirit Breakers, trying to create some chaos for that off laner. Uh, not really happening for Pasha, honestly. Like, yeah, he gets zoned out of lane, and that's really bad in the sense that you're giving AM total free for him, but for a Shaker still be four and a half and not have someone roaming in here, because he could just do nothing if a hero showed up, you know? You're a Shaker. What, what the hell are you going to do? <laughs> Your best hope is to rotate mid, and uh, he didn't find that moment either, because mid one six. Look at all these stacks going to Yapsor. Look at his build, even. He went for the 1-2 build. One in Burrow Strike, then two in Sandstorm. Now goes back to the point in Burrow Strike at level 4. But Puppy's been making stacks for the Sand King to farm up, and they're giving a lot of gold over to this Sand King. As he's given Observer Wars as well to go and give some vision over towards this mid lane, which mid one does desperately need to see where Lil is coming in from. But VP do the same thing. Vision over on the high ground there. Watching for the movements across, but they won't spot Yapsor, and they will not know that Observer Ward is placed. I think they want to try and make a move here. Yapsor with Tranquils can move forward. Waiting for no one to misstep just a little bit too far. Remnants are ready. Triple, in fact, for mid one. Waiting, though, waiting for an invoke time. or something. I think they're just waiting to see if they can catch a glimpse of maybe clockwork on another lane. Yapsor goes and collects the bounty rune. Pasha's going to be like, yo, Sanking's here. <laughs> There's someone taking my runes, guys. What's clockwork up to? He's found Kezu. Oh, he's invis as well. Oh, Trent traps him in the cog. Sunstrike is there and Kezu is dead. Lil takes the kill. A little bit sad that no one couldn't grab it with a sunstrike, but regardless, a kill is a kill. Darkseer drops. Oh, yeah. And mid one moved up towards the jungle camps as well. Maybe trying to find a Counterplay there. Here I thought we'd have to wait for the hookshot before the Sunstrike cause will come out, but sometimes you just waddle in with an invis rune. So haste rune first, now an invis, Lil making the plays. But uh, as you said, Puppy just really helping out Yapsor. Uh, so this will be giving them that blink dagger. You know, we were thinking about like a bat rider or something to abuse the split push. Now they're going to have Darkseer uh, rather than a bat rider who, uh, like bat, he can abuse stacks. He can also kind of play a split push game in the sense that Iron Shell is very nice at just quickly shoving a wave and then sticking with the rest of your team. Uh, and then they're just going to get kind of backed up by this very quickly farmed thinking. Oh, I was wondering what that noise was. Just God strength. <laughs> Loud. Jeez. But look at how farmed no one is. 3,200 net worth on this Invoker mid. Sure enough, the matchup is okay for the Invoker, you know, but mm -hmm. with the Clockwork coming in, made this incredibly nice for them. Tornado burns off the Flame Sick Guard. Flame Guard. <laughs> yeah, see ya, buddy. Get rid of that one. So what do you think the stack situation is like? One big Ancient stack for the Sven? That's pretty much it. I guess he's cleared through a bunch of jungle camps already. For that Mask of Madness. But Dire Team... They're not stacking for the Anti-Mage, and it looks like he will be going for that Treads into Battle Fury. How bland. Yeah. No yeah, innovation. We're going to go for a solo smoke play here. Oh, they found oh, Lil. Oh, finds a clockwork. Mid one, Remnants forward, Lil. Traps him in the cogs, but this is a cage you don't really want to be in as Lil. Create a barrier. Trying to block people out, but they're already in. I guess that's how Donald Trump feels right now. Hey, man, he did get the bounty room, though. Oh, I guess he does. So there's, there's, so there's that. Oh, wait, did he? I mean, it's just yeah, spawned again. Yeah. Uh, no one? Oh, wait, actually, he didn't. My bad. Oh, did he not? I thought he did. You're lying he to me, not. Trent. You're yeah, lying. Yeah, to I'm, I'm a dirty liar. Fake news. What, what, what's going on here? Mid one just goes up and punches an ancient in the face, and then he's running away. What's happening? Wait, who? Uh, oh, no, no one, one you mean? No one, sorry, not mid one. Yeah, no one. Wrong stack timing. Maybe. <laughs> 40 seconds, or 50 seconds early. 40 <laughs> seconds early. Cool. Solo is very near Yamsaw. Don't know if that's a kill. With the Iron Shell, maybe it is. Level 3 Iron Shell, lasting for another, what, 4 5 seconds? Yeah, wh what is going on? Where's Ramsey's going? I'm not sure. Maybe they've had this, <laughs> maybe they had this disconnect thing happen again. I th Ramsey's must be going towards the Ancients, right? 
God strength in seven seconds. Mask man is ready. Yeah, it's he like a funny be. path. He must be. Maybe he's a bit scared of who's in his jungle. Yeah, exactly. Like Ember was just here, so that uh, should be a beeline north shortly. Let's go mom it up. This is the uh, quickest farming, right? You go brown boots rated to. Uh, I think it's mask armlet is a little faster than treads, but treads helps you fight, and they know that pressure's coming. So, what's what's he doing, Trent? Ramses has gone for a wander. Yapsor has like scouted all of this out. He's got an observer ward watching the ancient stack as well. Ramses. I mean, they're right though. Like all this pressure coming in. Yeah. Better to not Maybe be down there. This Ember's trying to use those early remnants and propel himself into bots, but he's not going to find anyone. Lilla's alone. Sadly, oh, is he going to get the stack? Let's see. Can he conquer these guys? He conquered them. He did it. Wait, who did what? Where? Ramsey's God. He's, he stacked the unstackables. Oh, very nicely done. Bot lane, Lilla's going to die again, though. Oh. Once more, trapping mid one inside the cogs with him. The flame guard burns down. The pings come out onto this ancient stack, and I think Secret are well aware. Oh wait, is that is that Observer Ward? Yeah, they see it. It's inside. Yeah. I thought for a second maybe it wasn't, but there's the God Strength. Secret not really in a position to contest this at all. A big old stack goes the way of Ramses, pumps him full of gold. Now you've got Hand of Midas Invoker, Ramses, Sven with Mom. As well, we're so close to six. Twelve hundred gold. This, this like dying. There he's got it now. Iron Shell, Flame Guard, Lawn Mower incoming, mid one, burning through onto Ramses, but he turns to fight up against him. Mask Manus is there, Rocket Flare lands onto Yapsor, and now they turn to Burrow Strike through onto Lil, the Sunstrike. Payback for Lil. Ooh, mid one doesn't walk back in onto it. They don't get the kill though. That's disappointing. Wow, that's a, is that standard these days? Talents on Invoker? Yes. What's he going for? Oh, uh, instant really early. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. Not standard, but I yeah. guess against I mean, not all unheard the... of, I guess, but I'm just yeah. so used to invokers skipping them. Well, I guess when you're this far ahead and you know that a way for secret to come back in terms of farm is for you know mid one to burst you with a, a help with the help of a bar strike from Sand King, having that extra 125 health can definitely help just keep you know, keep oh, you in the game. Radiance bottom tower is under Make sure you don't die. But there's one guy uh, that we've not really looked at, dude. MP is still farming away up top lane. Mid one gonna get away here. They couldn't get the uh, stun out in time with the Stormhammer to combo with the Sunstrike. Ramsey's still chasing. It's a shrine. Oh. I think it's uh, interesting to note just like clockwork and stuff and how great he's been in the meta over the past couple of weeks. First phased, uh, had a lot of success on like SG Esports, ran it in the four world very well, took a game off OG and then it got banned first phase every game uh, for them. And uh, you look at like what happens now when he gets picked in the first phase. Yeah, Sand King can ditch Cogs, Ember Spirit. We have uh, call the uh, Anti Mage, and then even Darkseer is actually a hero that I love playing up against Clockwork for vacuuming his team into those Cogs. Like, there, there's so many times where you can screw over Clockwork's own allies with those. Just vac them in. Yeah, and then, and then they're the ones who are all sucked into the Thunderdome. Put them in the cage. It looks like Ramses has shifted. Treads into Yasher is what he's heading for. So maybe the S and Y. Saw that a couple of times where you go S and Y, split it into Halberd Ooh, and Dunk Top. Pasha, oh boy. he just he just walked up and dunked him. I mean, that there was just no respect. That was unexpected. Oh. I was literally I thought you were talking about the AM and you were saying that he was changing to a Yasha, so I clicked on him and, <laughs> and, and then you saw it. No, I was watching the mid lane because they're converging in to find a kill. Mid one, he's trapped in the cogs, though stunned up as well, and no one with the right clicks come through, finish him off. Wow. VP. Firmly in the driving seat here, but yeah, uh, fully unexpected top lane kill there. Pasha with a sunstrike and the and the uh, echo slam, apparently enough to kill off MP, who's trying to farm into that battle fury. Still on a, about a grand off it. Yamsaw hasted up and looking for maybe a stun onto no one, but he gets blocked on the creeps and he's not able to catch up in time. So he just sandstorms in the middle of the wave. No one disrespecting Yamsaw with a tornado, and now a meatball to clear out all of those creeps. You have to remember though, this is kind of expected that VP would clear stacks, that they would have the better run of the early game, while Secret would need a bit more time to get up and running. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the Blink Daggers too, just from like Yapsor and Kezu are going to be the two big items this game. Kezu of course still wants a few things, he wants his arcane boots, he wants his mech before he goes into that, so... First couple initiations will basically be all on Kezu and then uh, mid one, following up with the Iron Shell. I mean, no one's going to have his Aghanim soon. Point boost is already done. 
It's like a 15 minute Ax Midas or something like that. It's a ridiculous farm on the Invoker. Pasha, Blink is 800 gold away. He's now leeching experience from MP and even looking to contest this pool. This little stack. <laughs> Will's one experience away from six. Just need to wait down here this whole time for this wave. <laughs> Just gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Go. Oh, he's got so, the hook uh, shot. Yeah, and as you're saying, that's uh, 20. Look at that. Mm, max Exhort. Damn. Like, let's go. Yeah, Who can we kill now? Some tasty stuff. Anyone. Honestly, anyone. If they have a Fisher and a hook shot, they can blow up pretty much it is whoever level they one want Fisher. to. Keep in mind. Fine. I like this build though, this is the fun build. Max Aftershock, Max Enchant yeah, Totem, man. get last hit, get denies. This get is the denies. mid Shadow Blade build. Where are they heading now? Ramses and Solo. Moving forward, there's no chaotic offering, but they've got Max Fatal Bonds, they've got Ramses here with a Mask of Manus, they're hunting for someone to maybe push a little bit too far forward mid. Yapsor, yeah, bottom lane, looking for this. This should be a quick cleanup. Nice dunk to stop the TP. That was crafty. Well played. Make sure Ember can't come in with that extra control. I think that's worth, when you're like holding blink money, that's definitely worth. Level one echoes, again, typically don't do much. I mean, it's kind of a miracle. You got to kill in the AM top, thanks to the sun strike. Uh, but largely not a very useful thing is mid one with some chains mid. How, how did he miss that? Like creeps and spend I don't know, there? That was, weird. <laughs> that was really I weird. I don't even blame him. That was bizarre. I guess it would be fog, right? How strange. Ramsey just pops the mask man as he's even got the shadow oh, word on him. Under this ward. They should know Yapsor's coming. Epicenter through onto Sven, but the Chaos Coffin to try and turn us back. The trouble is Sven is already dead. Mid one can turn to chase on to Solo. He gets the vacuum back. Kezu there and this Flame Guard Iron Shell. Amber Spray running straight on through, even dodges the Fisher, kills off the Golem. Mid one, how much, how much gold did he get from that? Like seven, eight hundred gold or something ridiculous from that one fight? Let's have a look, fight recap. Maybe, maybe not really maybe, maybe not that much. underestimated that damage. That is just, like you have the war, they have two observers up here, it's not even just one. I double vision guys, 2020 on the high ground, you watch these two heroes smoke, you see the blink dagger on the Sand King, and he just kills your position one hero. He's just gone. And like, you know, like they had this warlock, you could see they knew it was coming, right? They were gonna dump it on top, and then maybe they were thinking of a hookshot angle, but they weren't quite there in time with the Earthshaker or the clock, hook, um, the clockwork. So, ah, oh, painful, 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 painful. Yeah, it's okay though. It's okay. Is it? Is it? It's fine. No one's still know. farming. He's got his Aghanim Scepter now. 60 minutes and it'll land. But there's the Battle Fury on the Anti Mage. MP done a good job farming this one up. Start split pushing away. VP do have some ways to deal with the split push though, you know. Sun strike with the uh, good old hookshot and cogs and all that. The Yapsaw's caught inside of them. Speaking of, he's Lil. Found the Sand King. Simple pick off it looked like. Ramsey's up. Clears through another ancient camp and wow, Pasha, top lane. Okay. <laughs> Kills on both sides of the map at the same time. Yeah, just gets dunked on. Pretty easy grab. Mid one just like he's feeling it, right? Once he knows that echoes down, especially, it's pretty much the only thing we can really grab him. So he's able to just uh, punish the shaker with impunity. And it's gonna open up about a seventeen hundred and fifty gold league. Not bad. Puppy, are you gonna die? Oh no one. Not gonna go in for this. Turns back with a crystal nova, now with a ghost walk down, but there's a sentry it's available for a spike. Comes through onto no one and with a burst strike forward, remnants as well. Mid one's coming on through to good tornado though. Who's down the advance with the Searing Chains with a slight of fist, Deafening Blast, holds them back, and now the Blink with the Echo Slam, Pasha clears up two! They killed off no one in the end, but Yamsaw now has got to turn himself around this top ramp bit to Blink away. I was just about to praise uh, Puppy, actually, this game. I was thinking, like, man, all that stacking he's been doing, he's getting some great vision down, and he hasn't died yet, and well, down he goes, but uh, overall still, very nice game for him, and now it's Pasha, though. Finally comes in and says, yeah, you remember that last echo? Now now I got this. Yeah, big blink reveal. He's got 1,300 gold on top of it as well. And so the scary thing about VP is their big team fight ulti combos. Echo Slam, Storm Hammer. It's the Fatal Bonds that I'm most afraid of here for Secret. The fact that Solo's holding them to level 4 Fatal Bonds and Chaotic Offering. The two of them are going to go look for a fight as well. We saw this in their game up against PD, where the offlaner and... Oh, yeah. Solo were just like wandering around. Was it Centaur <laughs> they, plus? They gooned a couple too many times. It was, uh, what was it? It Was it Centaur Warlock? It was definitely Centaur for Pasha. 
but uh, they kept trying to get these kills and never quite working out. Yeah, I'm not too sure, but it's a smoke from a secret at the same time. Trying to find Puppy in the back, but Secret are looking oh, it was to the Centaur front. Bane. Centaur, Centaur Bane. Bane, you're right. They've found Puppy. Sunstrike secures. Remnants forward, though. Gets the double chains. The Brush Strike lands as well. And in comes Secret. Mana Void not even needed. Mm. Two for one. And this, this is awkward for VP now. The Wraparound's coming through onto Lil. If they can catch him out, no. The Rocket Flare scouts them so he knows exactly the angle they're attacking from. I'll take your... Well, that, uh, I, I, was just, I feel bad for Lil, you know? He had this great early game. He did as most that he could with his clockwork. But again, it was picked so early. And they just picked these heroes that, like, yeah, it's it's in a Shaker and a Warlock wandering around instead of the clockwork with Hookshot. Yeah, yeah, maybe he's showing on the lane to try and just like, oh, we're not being aggressive. And uh, obviously not working out when all you get is a Crystal Maiden in exchange. And they are just going to keep widening this gap. And then the way this game progresses, I suppose we start even thinking about high ground kind of stuff, right? Like if you're the Dyer right now, yes, you have an AM and an Ember Spirit and your building hitting is pretty weak overall. You're not exactly looking to end this game early. You would think that closing out at least just yeah, maybe this tier one mid trying to weaken the area to spend good farm could really help you out right now. Uh, despite the fact that, yes, going late, you're, you know, you're not that terrified as Secret. But I don't want the, this Invoker getting out of control when I want to come high ground. Yeah, definitely not. No one is on the brink of, out of control. 2,000 gold saved up to go for travels. Could aim for his blink dagger if he wants to at this point. It's one of those deliberation moments. What do I need? What do I want to aim for in these team fights? Roshan scouted out there by VP as well, making sure that Secret aren't sneakily taking that one down. Top lane. Yapsor again with the initiation. Finds the blink borrow down onto Lil and mid one. As the boots of travel forward clears him up. But Golem's dropped here, and VP, there we go, Pasha, in with the Echo Slam of the Tornado, not going to catch up the Absolute, oh no. Bro Strikes away, Sandstorm there as well, but the Deafening Blast will hold him in place, cancel out the Blink Dagger with the Cold Snap as well, they've got the Urn on him, and Yapsaw's dead, two for one, well baited out and well reacted by Virtus Pro. And no one did go for the 30% experience too, so he just comes in, picks up those kills, that is pretty sick for him, uh, that's... 1224 experience there there you go there it is in action ladies and gentlemen you can see it right there it's between how much the shaker gets the warlock gets and then how much he's going to snag up on invoker and ramses has a dd rune outside the rush hand pit trent they're not going to go for it just yet waiting for the rest of his team maybe to come on through but i guess with chaotic offering and echo slam both unavailable taking a roshan here not the easiest of tasks a little bit scared of what Secret have up their sleeve. MP still yep. split pushing away. Bottom lane. Top is under Mid one returns to the battle as well. Some farms up top. Blink ready. Maelstrom about halfway done. Oh, Puppy actually went for the Hand of Midas on the Crystal Maiden. Still going for that. Yeah, all right. I think that's fair, this game. You are that poor. You have an AM and an Ember. Like, there's still games like where Midas is still so good. Uh, you have a Nog on your team. You have an Ember on your team. You have an AM on your team. Even if they're one minute camps again, it's so hard to find the creeps sometimes, these heroes, even if you're Crystal Maiden. Basically, when you feel choked out by your own play, <laughs> by your own yeah. teammates, when the map becomes so small because some of your players are so far ahead. Good initiation there Plus, from Pasha, uh, and Sunstrike does actually land. Again, pairing up nicely, no one in Pasha. This is like the funnest kind of game to be Shaker when you're just like non-stop trying to help find kills around the map. And that's, uh, of course, without Echo Slam, so pretty impressive stuff, but Invoker makes this even easier. We're, we're so used to seeing just Shaker up against Ember Spirit, trying to find him split pushing, and because he's always right in the middle of the wave, making use of that Flame Guard, and you just wait till it's like ticking down. Try and blow him up and get a chance. And now VP going to Roche. Alacrity over onto the Sven. That should be relatively simple. The hookshot forward is going to look for someone, but catches no one. But this is the first one in a while. The Vool Assassins. <laughs> mm, I love that name. They'll get you. Little poison spear tips. Look at, look at Solo's strat here. Uh, like, and when he nearly died. Stun me? Yo! Antimage nearly just died to the bloody Earthshaker again. But now they've caught Pasha. Finally the turnaround. The rotations come through from Secret. They look for Pasha and they look for more in the back. Lil. Gonna be chased by mid one. He's gonna chains in two seconds time. The blade mail. Okay, Lil's found a blade mail out of absolutely nowhere. But he's still caught in the cogs. Finally brought down. By Team Secret. Kezu has had a relatively quiet game, but he's got four staff mech now. Both the tools to get out of cogs and the tools to take bigger team fights. But Roshan goes the way of VP. They time it, but they couldn't stop it. Poor Lil, though. Like, he spent the whole time just sitting on these waves. He just hooks some camps. 
This team gets Roche and all he can buy is a blade mail 23 minutes. Uh, I don't know. I feel like this hero just, again, it's not really his fault. It's just like the way that there's no prep for in the draft on secret, but it's so hard to do anything. And uh, that four staff from Kezu would like this choice too. Go for that instead of the blink dagger. Ramsey's BKB stun forward onto Puppy. Should be an easy kill on the Crystal Maiden. Don't think they can find any more. There's no god strength available for that either. Ramsey's maybe thought with the BKB he could find a few more to catch in the back end of that fight. They're still holding on to Chaotic Offering. Echo Slam will be up in about a minute, 50 seconds. Like they want to smoke or something. Yeah, they're bringing Echo the Earthshaker in mid two. Shadowblade and Earthshaker now as well. And Chant Totem. Can, can he just kill mid one here? He hits him and fishes him. And Chant again. Sunstrike. Sun and dead. Oh, the dodge! Mid one, you god! Dodges it out. Solo late. was even oh. looking for the remnant as well. He was in the he was in the dire jungle. Sunstrike, slightly mistimed, like you said. Damn, that was pretty lit though. I mean, impressive by mid one still, but it's just like that that can be guaranteed, you know? It's just like there wasn't the communication. I don't think Pasha expected him to like come down or something. He's like, oh shit, there's an ember. Like help team. Uh, Ramsey's though. Get the help of this whole team up behind him. Ooh, they saw Yaps on the Aegis. Or the uh, Aegis is on the Invoker, but still. Yeah. Where's the Alacrity at? Yeah. Ramses has BKB. I don't think he's too afraid of anything right now. Most of the secrets mid game magic, uh, mid game damage is magical through Ember Spirit, Sand King. And the Mana Void. Trying to it's hold. scary for a mid one. This honestly. tier two. He jumps away. Ooh. Nice bling. Dodges the stun. <laughs> Top lane MP is split pushing away. Manta Vlad is done for him. The blink. Forward, no one. He's chasing this one. Cold snap at the ready with maybe Ramsey's an alacrity as well. Ramsey's is here and blinks forward. He's got no mana though. Can't throw a storm hammer. And Team Secret will be thanking their lucky stars that MP is able to escape there. Oh, Could Pasha, have been a massive Autumn. kill. Pasha, what's he looking for? He's ooh, hunting, hunting for Keizu. I thought maybe he was gonna go with the spawn, but it's just too risky without the vision. To guarantee. All right, back top lane. Ramsey's uh, slide chase. Rooted. Puppy's coming through. Bar strike lands from Yapsor. They've got a frostbite. He pops his BKB and he turns to hit them. He is again just unafraid of anything they have to throw at him. The rest of VP were running to back him up as well from the eastern side, moving on, moving on over. Tornado range is so insane. Oh, they spot uh, Pasha here with a combo of uh, Sentry and then creeps. Yeah, I'm sort of eyeing him up here, but he's long gone. How do you deal with the Shaker, too? Because he, he really does output a ton of damage. He's going to set up for a Sun Strike every single time. So it's difficult to be these Embers and AMs that are trying to split push across the map. You can't have Sentries uh, in Vision everywhere. And plus, even if you like go for a gem play or something like that, he, of course, still has this high mobility where you can just lead off with the, the dunk right into the uh, Enchant Totem, the Fisher. It's a very difficult problem to solve. Yeah, like, yeah, you basically have to try and find sentry combos in these areas. That's the thing. To watch where he's rotating. You need like a sentry obs combo in a bunch of areas. You need a gem. You need the tinker wards for the high ground when he's hiding in the trees. Yeah. There's so many things you need to do to catch this guy out, or you just don't push lanes, which is impossible here for secret when their game plan is pretty much to split push and shove lanes as often. He just blinked as hard as they can. He has Blink again, but there's the Echo Slam. Pasha lands it gorgeously onto the AM, and they finish him off 4v1. He didn't stand a chance. In the meantime, no one finds the tower mid lane, still holding the Aegis. They want to chase this. They want to find a kill, but he goes forks. He goes invis. He runs north. He's hiding. He's hiding. Crafty. Where's he going? Does he want to kill Puppy? He's going to go for this. He has a century. He has Aegis. Tornado's there. Ice Wall down as well. We need Alacrity Cold Snap. He's going to go for the Sun Strike. Puppy turns back with the Frostbite. Oh, no one. He's in too deep. No, he's not. Sunstrike, bam! <laughs> right in the kisser. Just the maiden's dropped, and Team Secret on the back foot tremendously here as VP are pushing high ground onto these tier threes. Ramsey's alacrity onto him. Aegis still being held by Invoker. There's the timing. This is a game that makes Shaker look so damn good. He's played fantastic this game on Passion. Like, if you don't get these pickoffs, this game just is so hard, right? You need this AM and this Ember down, and they're finding them over and over. Pasha's 3, 4, and 5. Didn't even look that impressive on the kill score, but yeah, so someone winning this. The vacuum wall doesn't connect with the Ramsey's BKB and the mana burn from the EMP. Take him down. Mid one tries to get some damage done in the back. And look, he's, he's trying to preemptively blink these fissures. Like, Pasha's just kind of faking them out. Still just holding. And now a BKB Reach. from no one means that range Rax is going to drop. Go swap TP. Forest strike. 
<laughs> BKB man. 5,600 gold lead. And uh, a greedy lineup not able to hold on to that. You know, you see all the split push, you're just like, all right, surely if they can just make it to like 25 minutes or get some of these items up, how are they ever going to catch Secret? You know, how are you going to stop this omnipresent map pushing? But it, it comes from Pasha. It's going to be crazy farms. As well as, of course, the uh, the general sun strikes to make it easy for him from no one. It's a very nice combo. That's the weird thing, though, right? It's like 5,000 net worth lead, but it feels like it's 10,000 or 15,000 for VP. Experience-wise, about a 5,000 lead as well for the That's Radiant team. Yule Scepter done for Sand King. Give him a little bit more maneuverability in fights. This is where MP's forced to go. Forced to go BKB. Mid one. Not going to bother with that. Going to go straight into the Octarine core. Doesn't want to buy it. And hello. Yep. Hello. Orchid for Ramses. Bloodthorn incoming. I guess that means he's not going to go for any disassembly plays, though. Yeah, of course, that's been pretty popular now. It's just the halberd and the power of that. Taking apart that SNY. Could still happen later, but for now. I mean, for the, strong. for the Orchid, he could just disassemble Mass Commandus, right? Go for Satanic yep. and Orchid. Yep. Maybe feeling that the attack speed you get from that active is still very, very useful in these team fights. I think this game's still going to play out a little bit stalled, though. It's not like just because you took racks, they're going to like keep it full throttle or anything like that, because they still need pickoffs, right? It's still, we're back to that same kind of square one. Uh, and it was uh, impressive to do it the first time for VP, but it's still going to be somewhat difficult, I would think, to lock down this AM Ember, like mid one. He's down here cutting the can or cutting the waves, rather, getting some pressure onto this tower. And they're just going to try and five man up top. And yeah, I'm sorry, he's trying to push out the mid lane. Roach will be that uh, big factor, though. Most definitely. And VP cutting into the dire jungle now, moving down towards their own mid tier one, looking for Yaps or wherever he's hiding. There is a and mid they had one this Ember. vision where he went in too. Maybe not sure whether he TP'd away or what. Now they see him come back again. Mid one cutting the wave mid once more. Yaps was there. VP are like, okay. <laughs> Let's go. If you want to split push, fine. We'll, we will brute force you. You can try and finesse us all you want, but the. Your strength here from VP, push the wave up at top, blink into the mid lane where they can take down the racks because there is no glyph, and Ramses has a BKB to throw as well. Solo, faking out the golem, another stun onto Ramses, but he's still under no real threat of dying. BKB is just to make sure he can run away, and then blinks out to safety, full lane gone. Tornado flies, making sure there's no advance from Secret to try and catch any other stragglers running back, and well, no one TP's bot lane. More farm for him to have. Lincoln Sphere is nearly done. VP just have such a firm grip on this game. Secret, sure, they split push. They move around the map. They try and find these little openings, these little maneuvers that they can play with. But they just don't seem impactful at all. Yeah, they're waiting for that high ground fight from Kezu, where if they can just... They, that was almost it, but they weren't quite all back in time. You know, they uh, they drew them in, forced them into a pressuring situation where they were like, okay, we're going to pressure top, we're going to clean up the mid lanes, get to grab MP, so... Well, uh, another dunk thrown up by Pasha. It's, it's it's instantaneous. 80 seconds now without your anti mage. 80 seconds. Fortunately, that's uh, almost exactly how long it's going to take for Roche to spawn. Do they wait for it, though? I uh, don't think so. It looks like the line is drawn saying we push but, but top. Look where Ember is. And look where they all are. Yeah. Mid one down a bot. Secret. Oh, but they're tornadoing mid, so yeah, they can just take the top tower. Yeah. They're just shoving this wave in, and they'll go in with a god strength. Move forward, Lincoln's there. Ramses makes short work of these buildings. He's going to even go for the barracks. There's still no glyph. He's going to lose an entire lane of racks again. Team Secret didn't know this was coming, and they definitely couldn't react to it, even if they did. To jump forward of the Tornado EMP will again catch out Kezu. There's the Fisher landing. Sunstrike slowing things down, but a four staff from himself will get away. From the rocket flare and the golem, which was dropped on his head. Uh, excellent. Pasha God owning this game. It really is. I, you know, I feel like Secret may be a little bit blindsided. I feel a little blindsided because of how quick these kills have been happening, where suddenly this Ember or this AM are just dead because of Pasha plus Sunstrike. But yeah, they missed like, what, one combo basically the whole game? And other than that, they've been extremely successful. Very consistently taking these guys down and then just opening up an easy path to victory. And uh, path to victory now available in the pit. It's Roche. Get some cheese for you too. This has felt like a walk in the park for VP so far. We've not even seen 
a, a good vacuum wall combo. I think I've seen wall of replica once this game when they were defending mid lane and it kind of caught Ramses, but he couldn't vacuum through the BKB, of course. There's still combo plays available for Secret. They might they... get Pasha. Yapsor has Dust. Nice. He's found the Yule Step to play as well. Dust is there on Pasha. Yule's again to dispel it and a Blink Dagger. No! The Burst Strike lands. Yapsor finds him. Pasha will pay for his insolence. At long last, Secret finds something, but Roshan is spawned, is ready to die, and ready to give Aegis and Cheese to whoever Jeez may not. take his life. They're smoked up here on Secret. They're trying to maybe bait a little bit here with MP. Scanned by the Dire. They know there's heroes up on the high ground. Puppy moves forward and has his smoke dissipate. They found Solo. No one. Again with a Tornado EMP. This time a Vacuum Wall does land on the two of them. No one. BKBs and Solo taken out of the game. The Cogs. Oh, it traps oh, no one in. Block. Oh, it traps no one in. He goes, walks away. They've got a Sentry there. They've got some reveal as well. But here's Ramses in with the damage of the God Strength. And MP slammed. Destroyed by the Sven. Mid one has to run and hide as the freezing field from Puppy tries to slow them down, but the tornado catches them again. Burning through them all, and with the ghost trick still there, the core snap still active. It's easy work for Ramses to cleave through a couple of them. Ice wall not gonna land this time, but the Orchid and Tornado off the mark. Here's who's sprinting out, but they've caught another one. It's Puppy in the back end. They just need like a, a little hit, a little touch, a love tap. Yeah, so Come on, Lil. You can get him. Just bop. Nice dodge from Yapsaw. Haha, <laughs> Lincoln's on Invoker, hey? Oh, back. You wanted to stun me, did you? Well. Four dead. Secret, not looking good. 19 to 15, but now 15,000 net worth lead for VP. And Kez is trying to push out bottom, and no one just not having any of it already down here on the way of ignoring Roshan. Sven is here too. Creeps are in the mid lane, and Megas are on the mine. I think VP GG. have done it. It's game over. Impressive. I mean, Shaker owned. This is the thing, like, Sven is very farmed. And Invoker, you know, he won his mid lane. He, everything was going well for VP. But you're right, I feel like it was Pasha's Earthshaker that really just brought every, He was the glue. He was the glue. Yeah. He really brought everything together, found the picks from the AM when he was split pushing. It just alleviates all of this pressure that maybe you would have felt because killing off the AM once here and Amber Spirit once there, then the AM five minutes later means you can take a tier one, a tier two, take a Roshan, take a tier three, take a Rax. And it was just this domino effect where every time they got one pick off, it was a massive objective for VP to take straight after. Plus, I mean, no one got enough credit today from his Phantom Assassin and Templar Assassin oh, yeah. play, so let's let's try and spread it around a bit. We really got to give Ramses a bit more love, though. You are right. You know, obviously just very efficient farming the whole game, doing what New Sven does. XD, one minute camps. It's back, baby. Mass ancients. Lots and lots of ancients. 388 last hits. Not too shabby. I mean, MP farmed well, mid one farmed well, you know, secret. I don't feel they individually p played poorly. It's just that they couldn't really do anything. It was one of those, we're kind of locked into this draft and we've got to make the best out of it. But game number one, of course, that's all that.